interesting update from Sam Altman on GPT-5. So this was a post by Sam Altman yesterday on X. So what he says over here as roadmap is that GPT-4.5 is going to be the model which they are calling as Orion internally is their last non-chain of thought model. So all the models after that are going to be chain of thought or reasoning models, right? The next thing is that what he says is that the model picker which you have where you can choose various models available in chat GPT, he says we are going to remove that off, okay? And return to something called as magic unified intelligence. So basically you don't have a choice over there, right? Depending upon your prompt, it probably does an internal routing to the various models and chooses it. That's what he says that GPT-5 will be a system, right? It's not just an LLM. It will be a system that integrates a lot of their technology, including O3. So they'll no longer ship reasoning models as a standalone models, right? So this looks more like a router, a model router or something. So GPT-5 will be more of a model router and based on the query, it kind of chooses internally which model it needs to, you know, run to get the results. So that's the idea over here. So GPT-5 is going to be a system and not a particular LLM by itself, right? So that is what is meant over here. Uh, and the other thing is that the free tire of chat GPT will get unlimited chat access to GPT-5 at standard intelligence setting. Now, what is standard intelligence? What is the definition of higher level of intelligence? What is even higher level of intelligence is not clear yet, right? This is not even transparent. So what he says is that plus subscribers will be able to run GPT-5 at higher level of intelligence. Pro subscribers will be able to run GPT-5 at an even higher level of intelligence. Does this mean that, you know, somebody who is using chat GPT will free for the free tire will just get access to O3 reasoning model with the uh, low effort, right? And uh, plus subscribers may be O3 at a medium level effort. Pro may be, uh, you know, at a higher level effort. It could be O3 or whatever is the future reasoning models which are coming, right? And these models are going to be, uh, GPT-5 as a system is going to be multimodal again, which could incorporate voice, canvas, search, deep research and more. So to just recap, GPT-5 is going to be a system which kind of unifies O series thinking models and GPT models by create, uh, which can use all their tools, which knows when to think for a long time or not. This is test time scaling, right? And this is going to be generally useful for a wide range of tasks. So when somebody asked over here, like, you know, what is the release uh, timelines? So GPT 4.5 is expected to be in weeks. So it's going to come sooner. And this GPT-5 as a system is going to come a couple of months later. I don't know, a couple of months, you know, how many months it is. So this is an interesting um, announcement and looks like, uh, you know, once OpenAI makes this kind of an announcement, looks like more like Gemini or Cloud or DeepSeek or the other models will, you know, follow a similar pattern. So mostly you will get systems in the future and not just LLM and the systems internally will be composed of multiple LLMs with different capabilities. Uh, you can call this as an agent, probably GPT-5 could be an agent as well. So this is about this interesting roadmap update from Sam Altman. Thank you for watching the video.